Hey everybody, excited for another release with 3.3. Today we'll do a quick run through of some of the new features and how you can use them throughout the application. First, we'll go ahead and start with the new edition of the T to I control adapter. Now, I will say that in the 3.3 version, control nets and T to I adapters cannot be used together, but we're currently working on getting those two compatible so that you can use both together in generating new content. The biggest benefit of T to I adapters are going to be their efficiency. They're a much smaller model, so you can use them without having as much VRAM as you might need with a control net. Now, this is mostly relevant for those of you who are using SDXL on lower end graphics cards and need every ounce of VRAM in order to get the generation to run in the first place. T to I adapter allows you all of that control that you'd expect with control net, but with a fraction of the amount of memory that you'd need for control net. So let's go ahead and give that a go. I'll go ahead and throw a T to I adapter in. I'll go ahead and try the depth uh, T to I adapter. Uh, I'll update my processor and throw this image in. Uh, so we'll go ahead and give a generation here with this depth uh, and hopefully get something a little bit more artistic out. Uh, so far, so good. I think one thing that I want to do, though, is try this with an IP adapter. Uh, one thing you'll notice is that the IP adapter uh, plus model has been added. I'll go ahead and use the SDXL VITH model. Uh, we'll throw in maybe this picture of this cyber futuristic space desert city. Um, and because this is going to be conflicting with the prompt and the image here, I'm going to turn the weight down just so that we get a lot of the inspiration from the colors and the vibe and aesthetic of this image uh, without over indexing too much on the content, because uh, that would conflict with this uh, kind of space gunslinger here. Uh, we'll go ahead and generate that. So you'll notice that we picked up a lot of that bright blue highlight from the image that we're using in the IP adapter. We even picked up a little bit of that on our cowboy uh, in that picture. So again, T to I adapter is a great way of efficiently using control and an SDXL model. You can use multiple T to I adapters together. And in a future release, we'll be enhancing the ways that T to I adapters work, allowing you to use more than one addition in version 3.3 of Invoke is the ability to use multiple IP adapters together. Now, this is a little bit different than other tools which allow multiple images inside of a single IP adapter, which is something that we'll be adding in a future version. Multiple IP adapters allow you to mix the type of model that you're using for the IP adapter and really get a different control over the blending of those images. For this demonstration, I'll switch to an SD 1.5 model in order to get access to some of those SD 1.5 IP adapters like IP adapter Lite. So you can see I've added two light IP adapters. This is one of the better models for when you're trying to get inspiration from an image, but not actually control composition or layout. Uh, and we'll maybe just throw in a couple of these to see what we get. I'll throw in uh, this kind of image of the city that we got earlier. And why not? I'll throw this uh, kind of more cartoony uh, space cowboy in, uh, and we'll see if we can mix these two concepts with our prompt. Now, in this case, I think we got a lot of the color out of the image that we had uploaded of the cowboy, but we're missing quite a significant uh, presence here in the image with no real cowboy, even though our prompt has that kind of sly, relaxed character. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase this to a IP adapter SD 1.5, and we'll go ahead and reduce the weight of our other IP adapter here, just so that we can start to get a little bit more control over this blend. Now, one thing that you'll notice is if you use uh, plus models together for IP adapter, you'll likely get a lot of conflict unless you decrease that weight. You want to think about this as the two IP adapter models competing to control the image generation process. And if both of those have very strong opinions about where things ought to be or how they ought to look, for example, the plus models really focus on kind of positioning of characters. You'll likely see lower quality results if they're both at a weight of one. So especially if you're using multiple IP adapters, you're going to want to bring that weight down so that those concepts can kind of blend a little bit more seamlessly together.
So far, so good. This is looking pretty nice. Now we probably could use some more detail here. And so what I wanna go ahead and do is send this to the unified canvas. And what you'll notice is that we can use a lot of the tools that we've had previously with control adapters with the IP adapter model now. So we can easily take in, uh, let's say, a plus snapshot of this particular area of the image. And even though we don't have a control adapter, we will likely be able to get a much higher quality image using our scaled bounding box and control that generation because it knows conceptually where the character ought to be. We've got a much more detailed gunslinger there, and we can continue to detail this out using IP adapter as a great way of controlling consistency in the image generation process. Now, what I can also do is when I'm out painting, I can take a snip of the background here. I'll use this kind of uh, maybe mountainous background with the clouds. And now what I'll do is I'll start my out painting process. Uh, in this direction. And again, we're gonna wanna make sure that the weight is not too high because we are inspiring this image, but we don't want a direct recreation of this image in the entirety. Uh, one thing again to note is we're still bringing in a lot of this uh, image into the context and that'll probably take in some of the attention of our text prompt, but this will help inspire a lot of the style and aesthetics of our outpainting. Lastly, we're gonna wanna make sure that we have our scale before processing off, in this case, because we've got a 1024 by 1024 bounding box and we're using an SD 1.5. Now, amusingly, we got a second saloon. Uh, these are probably two competing saloons and in a town like this one, perhaps there's sufficient demand for two establishments of that sort. Now, in this case, we probably want to go ahead and differentiate these two, and we can probably use IP adapter to uh, help with that. We'll go ahead and change the prompt to saloon, and we'll zoom in here on each one of these, uh, and maybe use a different IP adapter prompt for both of them. So I'll take our cartoon version of the saloon for uh, this particular go, and we'll increase our IP adapter up to maybe 55. And we'll in paint this area. Check our denoising strength. Uh, give that a little bit more and then go ahead and invoke. Now I kind of like this particular style. It looks pretty cool. Take this one over here and focus on this second saloon. And for this one, let's go ahead and switch uh, to a SDXL model, bring our scale up, which we may have forgotten to do on the last one, which I'm surprised we got some good, some good detail on that one. In any case, uh, we'll make sure that our uh, scale is going up to 1024 by 1024, and we'll bring in our IP adapter and maybe an ET eye adapter as well. Uh, so we'll bring in maybe our depth, take a snap here, and then our plus SDXL. You know what, I'll use the current uh, saloon as our inspiration here. Um, Uh, no luck with Dusty's, but we did get Saloon, so we'll take it. Uh, we'll accept that and zoom out. So now we've got our Saloon. Uh, we've got our competing Saloon or establishment over here, uh, and we've kind of got you know some of those details ironed out. As always, there's a lot of different ways you can use these tools, and this is just scratching the surface. We'll cover some other ways of using the tools, some ideas and tips and tricks, and other professional workflows in coming videos. Until then, like, subscribe, share, and we'll catch you on the next one.